Hey everyone, good morning. Well, it's morning over here in Melbourne, Vic uh, Victoria, uh, Australia. Uh, I want to welcome you all. Um, I hope you're all well. Okay, coffee staining. I know, I know this is a topic that all of us have explored and talked about for a really long time. Uh, but I wanted to show you a method that I'm using and I wanted to show you the results first and then I'll show you the method. Um, now, the method of using plastic doilies goes back a couple of years for me now. Um, but the new method is how to coffee stain in limited you know, limited areas. A lot of you may not have enough space to just let yourself run with loads and loads of papers being coffee stained. So I have a way around it and I'm very excited about it because I seem to be spreading my craft room throughout the entire home. <laughs> and my, to my poor husband's dismay, not really, he doesn't mind. He's got his He's got his own study, which is good, these little man caves, so it's safe out there. But yeah, um, my dining room table is such a mess now. Um, we've only got sort of a little patch where we can sort of use. Um, but the rest is really with my YouTube um, tutorials that have been waiting in the wings for months now. Um, yeah. So anyway, this is something I came up with a couple of months ago. So my a lot of my projects are months old, but I'm only having now the opportunity to actually get to, to film them. Today is the 14th of May, 2019. So I don't know when this is going to be uploaded um, because I'm always so behind with everything. So I wanted to just um, just show you what they look like to give you confidence of trying it out and even if you have got the room this is no mess this is an, an unmessy way of actually creating your um, your doing your coffee and tea staining it really is an exciting way uh, no mess no stress and it tucks away quite nicely I'm sure even just saying that has intrigued you so please stick around to see what I mean by that. So basically um, these are all the results with the technique that I'm going to be showing you or maybe not necessarily the technique, the way to get tons of papers done in a limited amount of space um, with, no, with no stress. So if I just flip them through You'll get an idea and I know I'm going a bit fast and I do apologize for that um, but yeah now I'm also going to show you the quickest way of flattening out these um, pieces because some of you probably iron and I guess ironing would be really important just for one of the edges that goes into your printer, if that's what you were thinking of doing. But really, when you look at the edges on this, it's so flat and I didn't achieve it through ironing. And I know some of you know this secret. Um, it's not really a secret, but a, a, a technique of actually keeping them flat. And I think you can guess what that is um, right next to me. So it will require either some heavy MDF boards that you put bricks on top or just books. Now this paper is just so thick. If you want your paper to be thick, so this is exactly the same paper but when I feel this, this is really thick, this would have been on the bottom and you'll see what I mean when I talk about on the bottom when I show you how I achieve these papers. So now we'll have a look at these ones. And this is another thick piece because it was put on the bottom. But um, yeah, I'll be showing you how we get these kind of effects onto our coffee tea stain paper. Um, now I know 
a lot of my videos that I did a couple of years ago on coffee staining, I am a big proponent of coffee only because I can thicken it up. I like that syrupy thickness of it. But a lot of these are also tea stained, just tea stained alone. And what I've decided to do, but I've done them really, really heavy, really heavy. And I must admit, I do like the really heavy tea. Um, so I'll also show you or tell you how I put my, um... oh, by the way, these are air dried, not oven, not oven dried at all. Okay. So, um, but yeah, so these are the tea stained ones. I think that's why I tried to keep them separate, only tea stained. But I'm also, um, yeah, I'll have to show you how I get that kind of effect as well, if I remember. Um, yeah, there's a couple of things that I wanted to tell you, and I wanted to tell you all at once, and obviously that's impossible to do. <laughs> um, yeah, I love this one here, a little bit of an ombre effect. Whew. So, you're going to be excited with this because um, you'll be able to do so much with so minimum space, less mess, and I guess less mess means less stress. So these are the ones. Oh, I love this one. Oh, yeah, that's what I wanted to tell you, that I mix um, coffee with my tea. I have done that in the past, but now I'm definitely mixing tea um, with, with coffee because uh, I think it just adds, oh, I don't know, that extra bit of yumminess that ingredient of yumminess the two of them together make a beautiful marriage okay oh that's so pretty so I hope you can see what I'm showing you I'm probably not up close and personal am I sorry about that so this is probably a bit boring to you now because it looks probably the same but you know for me I just get so excited when it comes to coffee and tea staining that that's my thing and that's why I'm so excited to be sharing with you how to go about it especially if you've got no room to move or you're sharing a flat with someone and you know they want their space but you have got hardly any space okay so just to show you um, this when this was first pulled out of the limited um, technique it was like if you can see my hand it was like up to there because you know it all puffs up but the best way to flatten them and this is even much more flatter I mean it's less pages but the best way to flatten them uh, really flat is you get a couple of books. So I just forgot to bring mine and I'm going to run out of time, aren't I? Hang on a second. You're going to need a, a book that is larger than your papers. Okay, so this is the one that I use. You're going to need one that's larger than your papers. And then you grab some big tomes. So this is a dictionary and this is an interlinear because um, my husband and I are both, we just love learning <laughs> and studying um, so you know history and all that kind of stuff we love to have in our home so you you, la you layer it up this way and leave it overnight in fact if you don't need your papers the longer you leave them this way the flatter they'll become over time so uh, keep that in mind so everyone, thank you very much for your visit. I hope to join the next video to this, which shows you the technique. Um, welcome to you all. And this is my solution to coffee staining in limited spaces. Even if you have got plenty of room, if you're sick of the mess and stress or having, you know, to... Um, 
look at a, a room that's just covered in um, your coffee staining um, this is one way of getting around it so all it is is one of these long plastic containers that you can purchase and you can already see that it's a bit grungy because um, I've been using it um, but that's the that's how shallow it needs to be if you wanted it larger you could go for that but I'm really happy with this because I can slip this under the bed on top of put it on top of our pantry um, to keep it out of the way when it's not in use and even if it is in use you can put it anywhere you can have it outside and talking about outside when you're done with it you just only need to hose it with a, an outside hose and um, throw a bit of soapy water throw it out there and let it dry um, so it's one of the best ways of doing your um, coffee and tea dyeing um, now what's in there is the uh, plastic uh, doilies I guess um, or tablecloths now I'm not into plasticky things um, ages ago I got one here because I wanted to um, use it as a stencil but then I thought why not use it for coffee staining and that's what I've been um, um, that's why I got extras and I got long strips of it so I think in um, I think I cut this one down myself um, but they're really pretty and they really do give a beautiful look to your papers as you would have seen sorry I'm just holding um, the cover so the cover you can use the cover as a um, if you can see what I'm doing I can't see what I'm doing with the tripod you can use that when you start spraying if you don't want because you know spraying can actually go um, everywhere this is one way of stopping the spraying from um, spreading out to the rest of the home um, and and protecting it so that's one thing you can use that for or if you feel like you you want um, some of the papers to be a little bit different or plainer this has actually got some gouges in it you can actually put your papers on there to get another effect um, and that's another layer so say you wanted to just coffee stain a few of your so this is all tea stain down there but you want to coffee stain the rest and you've got a sprayer you can do that so it allows for so many ideas when you're using a container now I am not sponsored by these people that make these containers not at all but I have to say I needed a way because where I used to do my coffee staining if you can if I can just so I'm pointing to where I used to do my coffee staining so this is our lounge room floor <laughs> um, and sorry guys um, that's why with these papers I have been, so this bunch so this was my first test run with it. This was months ago. Um, I haven't needed to do any coffee staining for a while, but I thought let's get on with it and show you the tutorial because I've been so excited to share this with you. But this yield, that was my second yield in that small space because you can layer so much of it. And having the different plastics means that you don't actually have to even stencil your um, papers and look at the incredible grunginess around there I, I did you don't you know you don't even have to ink a lot of your edges because they're done for you look at that over here so oops am I camera oh, I don't know what oh there we go sorry um, yeah so um, that's what I mean so sorry if I'm a bit out of focus in places so you can achieve amazing results and it's going to be out of your hair, out of your way. You don't have to be worried about it. Um, so with us, I have mine near, um, not in front of, but near our um, gas heater. 
um, and it gets quite warm there and I I don't actually have the lid on when I do it especially when it's first wet but if it was a hot day I would be quite happy to just leave it outside in the sun you know <laughs> you can take it anywhere you can put it under your desk you can put it on your dining room table on top of your pantry that's where I actually store this now um, it really is an exciting way of getting loads and loads of coffee staining done and it's out of your way. It's totally out of your way and the effects are really exciting. You don't have to bake them in the oven because that's so time consuming as those of you that do that know. I used to do it but no, haven't done it for years. Um, and then I showed you that you just put them under books really heavy books to flatten your papers and they're good to go. You just flatten them overnight or for a couple of nights, um, yeah, 24, 48 hours if you want, however long you want. The longer you have them under books, the flatter they'll become. Okay, so enough of me waffling on about this. I'm just so excited to be sharing this with you. And because you must be getting bored looking at what's down there, I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, so these are the kind of results that you can get. Um, and they are so, so pretty. And then this one, I don't know if you can see, but it's it's a lot more softer. Um, but yeah, like look at this. I have to show you this. I love this one. Look at that. You know, and I didn't really try. I've just only layered the plastic with them. So now in Spotlight over here in Australia, if you go to the curtain place, they should have this, the curtain department, they should have this on long rolls. And you've got to get the lady to come and cut them down for you. So I'm actually going to go back and get more of this one. This is my favourite. I don't know what it's called, but what I love is how it has the um, um, the scalloped edges. Boy, that is so pretty. It's such a great effect. Um, so I want to get that one. And then you've got these ones. So there's more scallopy effects as well. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, so really pretty. And um, yeah, so let's get on with the tutorial. Um, I'll, I'll stop my video now and we'll get on with that. Thanks everyone for coming to my show and share. I'm looking forward to sharing this with you. Take care. Thank you. Bye. Um, okay, so I've got the materials here. Um, what I do is I, I put, I use this jug to make up my mix. And we just get the cheapest what's available that's really cheap. So I just used instant coffee. Um, so what I would normally do, if I was just doing tea staining, a really heavy tea. I would probably put about 10, 15 of these in there with not a lot of water. So just remember don't, because you can dilute it later. Better to have it really thick brew first and then you can decide. But the heavier it is, the richer the colour, you're going to really love it. Um, so, um, and then of course there's a coffee. When I mix the two together, what I do is I do my coffee first. I don't know if you'll be able to see the coffee in there, I mean the, the brew in there, but it's sort of below halfway in a jug this size. So that's my hand if that can give you an indication. Um, but yeah, so um, I would put two tablespoons, big heap tablespoons of this. If you want it to go any darker, you'd have to put about three, but really heat. You put it in there in with hot water first, give it a good stir, and remember, just keep it below half or less than half, and then um, throw in your tea bags. And I think I've got about eight in this instance, about eight to 10 of them in there. So, um, and then you just add them to your thing. Now, if it's too, um, if it's too, oh, what I was going to say, I can't remember. If it's too dark and thick, then you can dilute it now. So I'm pouring the whole thing in there, and 
it's got the bags and everything in there you can actually add them on top of when you're finished to add a little bit extra interest but um, I'll tell you how much this has yielded um, okay this is probably about 300 ml that I've been able to produce with just that amount and like I said to you you can dilute it if you feel it's too strong okay so that was the first part of the video that I wanted to show you is um, how to just go about the recipe of making it and making it in a jug if you've got a jug like that is really helpful I might even add a little bit more hot water just a little bit to kind of use up what's already there because it's still it's still got a lot to yield with that all right everyone um i hope that's been helpful um and i look forward to catching you real soon okay i hope my head's not going to be in the way i'm sorry if it is beautiful already i love that <laughs> Okay everyone, this is just my little test run there. So I don't know if you can see, but I was holding this. I'm talking about this. I'm holding that up just to stop it from spraying on our, because we've got our a clothes horse just right next to me. I'm, I'm kneeling on the floor. So if you see any big things hanging out, they're my knees. Um, but yeah, um, I'm so excited to be sharing this with you. So I'm doing everything on the floor. I just hold this up. If you've got kids, you can get them to hold it up for you. Or you could get a chair and lean it against a chair or a box. That's what I might do so that I'm not sort of hampered. Uh, but that really stops the um, spraying uh, getting everywhere because that's happened to me before. All right, everyone, I'll be back to proceed with the way I do the uh, limited space coffee staining. See you soon. Hey everyone. Hi. Okay, I'm just going to put that just at the back there. I've got some boxes that I'm leaning that against. Now, my head and my crazy hair might get in the way. I do apologise if it does. Um, I'll just move that over there. Okay, so earlier today, um, I sprayed a little bit of this as a test run, and um, already it's picking up the, um, look at that, <laughs> isn't that just gorgeous, um, already it's picking up what was underneath that, so if you, if you want to cut down on your, um, on your stenciling, on even inking your edges, well, a lot of your papers you will find will solve that if you have um, this kind of a, a layout. Okay, so what I do is, oh, from previous one, what I do is I actually, oh, that's right, I will just grab something, excuse me, sorry. Okay, so paper towel. Okay, so um, like I said, please excuse my my knees might be sticking out in the corner here. I'll try to keep them out of the way so they're not distracting. I'm sorry if my head gets in the way um, as well. Okay, so there's our paper, and um, what I like to do is just give this a bit of a a soak with the, um, what you call it, our coffee and tea brew. And I basically just lay it down. Um, you, can, you can do a couple of layers if you want. Um, by the way, this is a, such a great spray bottle. I, I'm really impressed with it actually. So, you can, you can place everything as you wish. Um, there is no hard and fast rules. Um, okay, so um, like I said, I'm just going to show you how I go approaching this so that I've got 
different kind of patterns and stuff. Now the reason why I've got my coffee stain paper is because, I mean not my coffee stain paper, because of my paper towel, is because in some instances I like to kind of just sort of dab it down. I do that because I want to make sure both sides are covered well. And what I like to do, and already there's a great pattern there, um, now this is going to allow me to um, get a bit of an impression underneath. So I'm just going to lift that up. Alright, so this is going to be so yummy. And then we're going to do the same again. And sometimes if you just go like this, you'll actually pick up what's underneath anyway. Um, isn't that gorgeous? Like I really love that. Um, so what I'll do is I'll make sure I've just picked up enough of the coffee that's already under there. Um, just to make sure everything is covered. And what we'll do, we might just, I might just put it this way. So yeah, you can decide how you are going to place your papers. So if I don't talk too much, oops, what I want to do, and I'm going to be knocking my tripod, I think. Okay, because I want that lace effect there. So you can place your lace or whatever you're going to be using, however you wish. So now, I can now just lay that down. So we're going to be contorting <laughs> this lace, plastic lace, in a lot of fun ways. So, what we're going to do is just spray it. Isn't the colour beautiful? I love this colour. tell you what, it's really hard kneeling. So you might want to do this on a table or a chair. I should have done that myself. Um, now the other good thing is, see how I'm holding this up? Okay, when your bottle starts to struggle, because it, you're, you're pointing it down in a natural direction for it, um, you can lift up your thing. You can let your water run, uh, your coffee run, so it creates more effects. So you've got lots of control with your papers. Okay, so I might just do that one there. And like I said, look, you can pick up the coffee underneath it by just using your paper towel. And don't worry, I'm never precious with my paper because I like to have it looking aged. Look at that. I mean, that's, I, I, I'm just already in love with that. You're going to hear me say that a lot. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to make sure we get a little bit of that effect there. Okay. So I, don't, I haven't even counted how many papers. I mean, you could just keep layering and layering. Okay, so now that we've finished that, what I've got here is the other lace. So, oops, we've got this one now, and we can just um, position it however we wish. Okay. So I haven't even started on that side over there. All I'm doing is just this side, and I can just layer as much as I like. And your papers won't stick if they dry properly. Just let them dry. And, you know, so I've probably had one minor fatality, poor paper, one minor fatality, but it was easy fix. It was just a tear in the corner, that's all. Um, 
Boy, this smells delicious. I have to say, coffee and tea smell great together. I'm actually not a coffee drinker, by the way. I don't like taste, but I, I love the smell of coffee. Isn't that funny? I'm a green tea, herbal tea girl. Uh, we might save that for another thing. Okay. I hope I'm still in frame. I'll just check and stretch my legs. And I, I do apologize if I'm my big head is in the way and my crazy, crazy wild mane of hair. Okay. I do try to tame my hair. I actually did straighten it, which you believe, and it's just gone crazy again. So it doesn't last for very long. It just wants to rebel all the time. Okay. okay so now again I'm having trouble with my squirting thingy. Alright, what can we do next? Well, why not just keep folding it? Now, I haven't even given any thought to how I'm folding this. I'm just making sure the paper underneath isn't kind of too squashed or too crumpled. But if it is, it doesn't matter. And the effects that you get are, are quite extraordinary. Now, I haven't even checked my time. I've, I hope I've still got some time. Okay, two minutes. Okay, whoops, that's not wanting to. I'm going to run out of coffee, aren't I? Yeah, I'm going to have to make another brew. So I'll definitely be back if that happens. All right, so um, I might just... Do that like that. Oops. Okay, so already you're getting an amazing effect. Um, and it doesn't really matter because your papers are just going to do amazing things on their own. You just let them do their thing. And things are going to look really pretty. Alright. So, I might have to make another coffee brew. So, I'll come back and um, continue this. Oh, my poor knees. <laughs> my poor knees. I'm sorry if I've been off camera. I'm really sorry. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Hey, everyone. Hi, sorry about that. Um, I'm back again. Um, so I had, remember how I was showing you my brew? Um, this is what I was able to get from it by just squeezing the tea bags. But word of warning, do not get your tea bag so ruined that you're leaving behind um, tea leaves. There's nothing wrong with tea leaves except that it is going to clog your bottle. So just be mindful of that. So thank goodness for strainers, hey. So that's what I was just doing, straining everything. Okay, so I've got a bit more of this gorgeous um, lacy stuff. And maybe we might just sort of do it at this angle here. So I will just, I oh, just need to, so, so isn't this great? Like see how the water is running. I mean the, the, the um, coffee tea brew is running um, because I'm holding it up. It just really is such a blessing. So a little bit of tea left from my fingers. get a little bit more. Um, there was something else I meant to tell you. Oh yes, um, my beautiful hubby, he got us an urn um, because it's, it's May, it's the month of May here and so it gets very cold where we live and um, he bought us an urn today. I, I still don't know how to use it, but our hot water service is absolutely hopeless at the moment. We can't afford to get it um, fixed. So, um, he bought the urn because, like, our hot water is 
running out <laughs> it runs out of the tap like eyedroppers so we've had to get a, a camping pump for our showers um, which is such a blessing and so it's a handheld shower but um, yeah I hope I'm filming hang on a second <laughs> sorry okay seven minutes great so yeah um, he got it because he got the urn because it'll speed up um, you know the water so that we because we use a, a big kind of container that the pump goes in and and we're able to have our showers and what have you but um, I don't have any running hot water like we do out we've got a dishwasher so that's where we get all that done but like if I want to get my hands warmed I either have to boil a kettle and put it mix it with water or let the tap in the kitchen run but it just drizzles like so slowly and because I've got chill blame I get chill blames in um oh, that's one of my big problems with when winter comes and my doctor has years ago said the best way to handle that is by every morning just letting warm water run over your hands just to give them a, a little bit of help and it does so so he got a noon for me because of my little fingers but but also for other purposes so rather than just having the kettle boil every now and then because everything just freezes up so hot, so quickly we can um i can just get how much hot water i need instantly and no chill blames yay okay so um i'm going to now fold this over like so i haven't really thought this through so it's never going to be perfect but that's what coffee staining is all about so i'm just going to see if i can pick up as much as i can from there and okay let's just i hope i'm not boring you but i'm just showing you my process um, so that you've got an idea of what it's going to look like. So you can lift up your papers if you want to go a bit heavier. So it's struggling at the moment to spray only because um, of the angle I'm holding it. So that's why I'm just really soaking it down. And that's why the paper towel is really good too. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to flip this around. See, isn't this just wonderful? I'll make sure I'm in frame. Yes, I am. Okay, oh no, I hope I was filming properly. I'm going to check. I'm just going to check, so I'll be back. Okay, so I checked and I just sort of decided to just go a little bit closer for you. Um, yeah, sorry about looking like a bit of a scruff and my head's probably been in the way. Okay, so this is the other thing you can do. So, you know how we moistened everything? You see what I'm doing? I'm now letting the water just go all over. I mean, the, our, our, um, our mixture to go there. So now we utilise that and we're going to be mopping it up. So... Now underneath here, there seems to be a few little grooves which kind of help with the um, the impressions it's going to leave behind. So you see that? Yeah. So you know you can you can make this as light or as easy as possible. Uh, you know, like you don't have to have a heavy brew. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. I was going to say something profound, I'm sure. I can't remember. <laughs> oh, dear. I just really find it hard to talk. 
and um, actually you know what I, I like that or I like that I like anything that's got puppy staining on it really or tea staining you know what I'm going to still do this and I'm sorry if my head gets in the way and my silly crazy hair okay yeah, my scruffy clothes. I always wear black because I'm such a scruff. I always get something on me. So black is sort of my go-to colour when I'm doing my artwork. Sometimes I forget and so I'll wear something really nice and lo and behold, I've got a stain on it. It's hopeless. I'm hopeless. Just hopeless, really. Alright. Now I'm a bit disappointed that that hasn't got any... Oh, I haven't laid it out properly because I really like the, I don't know if you can see, like those lace edgy bits. So that's disappointing. So let's just layer this with our brew. Okay. And now... And you may not need to be as heavy-handed as I am. I just want to make sure I've covered all my bases, you know. I'll, I'll just check at the time and, yeah, again, I am sorry if I'm in the way. Uh, I'm trying really hard to do this at a weird angle. And it's a bit weird. I, I feel really weird doing this because I, I wouldn't normally be crouching down. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway. Oh, I haven't got anything else to layer it with. Oh, oh, that's a shame. Well, let me go and get that other bit of lace that was my first lace that I got a couple of years ago. A few years ago, I think. I'll be back. Sorry, guys. I have got a tutorial using this one. Um, but I just keep forgetting to upload it. So I'm sorry about that. Um, I've got two of them actually exactly the same. The other one's a bit grungy, so that's why you're seeing the pristine one. Because I I do want it for you know other kind of other kind of projects. But can you see how many pages I've already done so far? Just layering upon layering upon layering. And remember you've got the plastic at the back so that it doesn't spray anywhere important. So you may want to watch where you're spraying. <laughs> um, okay, so let's do this one. This is going to be pretty. This is going to be amazing, this one. Okay, well, we've been working with this one. I do love it, but it's time to sacrifice it. Sorry, I keep knocking the tripod there. Okay, let's make it really get that impression. And you can already see the impression coming through. That's a that's kind of like another kind of coffee um, stenciling, <laughs> isn't that amazing? Okay, because I don't want to wreck that, I'm gonna layer it with another piece of paper. not getting in the way and my hair I'm sorry I'm trying really hard and I've got my scruffy jumper on like I was saying I, I have to have it and it's quite big it's a big scruffy jumper um, it's easy to wear and it has to be this color oh, I'm running out of coffee oh dear it's just not good I'll be back again, guys. Just bear with me. Um, what's the time? Okay, I'll be back. 
a cam back. Ooh. <laughs> um, I was going to say something. Oh yeah, so when I was talking about tutorial, I've got so many tutorials that I haven't uploaded yet going back a couple of years. So if I ever talk about that, um, please bear with me because um, they will come. They are going to come, but when it happens, and things are always slow at my end, so I'm sorry, but I, oh, it's kind of dripping all over the place now. Okay, what's going on here? Okay, beautiful. So it can be as haphazard your work as you wish. It doesn't have to be perfectly, and that's what I've been trying to show you. Just make sure you just layer it haphazardly because that's the best look, um, I feel, by far. So, I've kind of run out of um, my laces. That's why I'm going to get some more because... I just I'm just so in love with the effects and it kind of gives you a bit of a trademark as well with your journal pages then um, it kind of keeps it uniform so like I was saying before you're not going to have to worry about um, what is it what are you going to be worried about <laughs> I don't know yeah you don't have to worry about stenciling your things so here's some because, look at this, this is what I call coffee stenciling. Okay. And then just layer it as you wish. So these little poor papers are not going to get any special treatment. Because they're not getting anything on them. But they still look cool as is. Oops, sorry I knocked it again. So I'm just going to use up the rest of these papers here. I may as well. Uh, what have we got? Where have we come down to here? Oh, how cool. Look at that. How cool is that? That's just been, you know, a bit of a... On the sidelines, you still get hurt. <laughs> okay, so you can even do your little thingies like that. So, okay, so now these are getting quite wet, so um, just be careful when you're picking them up. And that would be nice to try and get some of that there. I'm just going to move it over. So we've got quite a bit of lace there. It'd be great to grab that on there. So if you like the colour of what I've just done, I've, I've, I showed you the recipe. So um, I'm not sure if it'll be with this video, it depends how long it is, but you at least will have a great idea of um, how I put it together. So basically, if you want to hear me repeat myself, um, we're almost done. My hand is absolutely dying and so are my knees. Uh, this was the only angle I felt that I could do this, but I think I might not do it that way again. My poor knees. They're really struggling. Okay. And I think this is struggling too. It's just complaining. Oh, now you'll notice something here. Oh, how much time have we got? Okay, great. You'll notice something here. There's a bit of a kind of a, almost like a hairline fracture. That's when you, um, okay, so I'll just throw that there. Um, that's when your paper wrinkles a little bit. You know, it kind of gets stuck and then you've lifted and it kind of wrinkles. Um, that's what you get. So one way you can do that 
is you can also don't scrunch up your papers make them really natural okay so see how you're getting kind of those little um, hairline fractures when you put that down it goes into it the coffee and the tea brew go right into it and it creates an amazing effect I hope I explained that well probably not <laughs> okay everyone so that is it I've done all the papers I don't know if you were counting the papers um, but it just gives you an idea of how much I've already done and look I have only just layered the bottom of this um, container now am I getting have I been in the shadow the, the light from the window is going um, so I'll be back tomorrow hopefully it'll be dry sometimes it, depending on where you're leaving these things to dry you may need to leave it a couple of days but don't panic because they will survive they will survive this and like I said before you can lift things up and you know swirl things around to get effects you know so that's another thing you can be doing and you're going to love the results you really will now the reason why there's a shadow um, the camera tripod is underneath the ceiling light so I'm sorry about the the shadowing but um, I'm going to try and put this now near the heater. Isn't this wonderful? I can put this wherever I like. And like I said, I'll be getting more uh, plastic lace. I hope it's still around. Um, and I'll be, you know, I can still keep layering if I want to with this. But that's sufficient for me for now. So it just takes a little bit of time to just set it up but that's it you don't have to be near the oven waiting for the paper to come out you don't have to you know clear the whole house of people so that you can do it um, yep you don't even have to iron because you can put that under books so that is my formula for how to coffee stain in limited spaces so uh, with less mess and stress because it's all contained in one place contained haha <laughs> in the container um, and it's so easy to clean you just throw a hose over it and with soapy water and you're done and dusted um, and you can tuck this away wherever you need to all right everyone thank you so much for coming to my show and share oh that's a bit scary angle I better put my hand down there <laughs> um, thank you so much um, when my papers will be ready and I will show them I'm going to pull them out with you so we'll do that together so until then I'll see you soon take care everyone thank you bye